Peace, y'all. Assalamu alaikum. It is Muza and Salah. I um, want to apologize first and foremost for the lighting issues. I'm just having a lot of uh, issues with trying to get lighting right because it's pretty early in the morning and the direction of the sun is just thrown off everything, even with my lighting. So, but you really need to see me anyway. Um, this video is not about me. Um, so I am working on a project in which I am um, studying different uh, statistics and coming across, uh, not for the first time, but coming across FBI um, statistics for arrests for 2013 and 2014, I saw a lot of um, facts which I don't think the average person, person is aware of. and. To me, it's um, comparing the facts to the fiction of what's put out there in the media pertaining to black people, African American people in general. Um, I just found them really interesting and I wanted to do this video in order to show, show the comparison between crimes and arrests for crimes um, between the year 2013 between the years 2013 and 2014 to do a comparison between whites and blacks. Because again, the media and um, public um, conjecture, they're two different things regarding the facts. So first I'm gonna give um, 2013 white and then black, and then afterwards I'm gonna do 2014 white and black, and then you know further compare. So, year 2013, 2013, for violent crimes in general, um, white people had a total of 228,782 arrests compared to blacks who had 151,627 arrests. So, about 50, more than 50,000 more arrests for violent crimes with white people. For murder and um, manslaughter, white people had a total of 3,799 arrests and black people had a total of 4,379 arrests. For rape, 8,946 arrests for white people, 4,229 arrests for black people. So double for white people. And let me point out, they're all bad. I'm just doing a comparison. Um, robbery. White people had a total of 32,945 arrests compared to 44,271,000 for black people. Aggressive assault. White people had 183,000 92 compared to 98,947 48. So the aggressive black men don't really figure into those particular numbers. Um, for burglary, white people had 136, 990 arrests compared to 61,709 arrests for black people. So that's more than double. Um, larceny and theft. White people had 677,173 compared to 284,358 for black people. Car theft. Uh, white people, 34,864. Black people, 16,960. Arson. So burn this stuff down. Um, 6,198 arrests for white people. 1,925 arrests for black. Prostitution and commercial crimes, um, which is very interesting because black women have a um, reputation for being like promiscuous, which I can dig it, you know, when you look at the videos and stuff, you're like, well, yeah. But, <laughs> or, you know, if you listen to people like Bill O'Reilly, um, who put out there that, you know, white, well, black women have all these. Baby, got a red lock and all that kind of thing. Okay, 
So prostitution for white people, 22,666 arrests compared to 17,378 arrests for black people. Sex offenses, which do not include rape and prostitution, who knows what that is, uh, for white people is 33,695 compared to 11,462. Um, so that's, you know, about triple more arrests for white people. Very interesting, this next, these next two, because again, public opinion about black people. Um, Drug abuse violations for white people are 815,181, so 815,181, and for black people is 365,785, again, more than double for white people, and for drunkenness, so you're not just drunk, you're like out there wild and drunk, um, drunkenness for white people arrests were 288,000. 146 compared to 56,885 for black people. Disorderly conduct, so just acting full, disorderly conduct for white people uh, was 231,000 compared to 604,000. Um, compared to black arrests being 129,782. So far, far beyond what blacks got arrested for in that particular category. And then family and children, offenses against family and children for so domestic abuse would be for was was for white people fifty one thousand one fifty one thousand seventeen and for black people twenty five thousand five hundred and nineteen so about double for white people. Then when you head over to the following year to do a comparison like did um, arrest increase or decrease for each of these groups for each category? You have white people for violent crimes. Um, for 2014, it was 231, 750 arrests. So they increased their violent crime arrests by 2,968. Whereas for black people, violent crime arrests uh, was 147,002 which black people decreased their arrest for violent crimes by 4,625. For murder and manslaughter in 2014, white people had 3,807 arrests, so they increased by eight. Black people had 4,224. Um, they decreased by 155. For rape, in 2014, white people had 10,977 arrests, so they increased their uh, rape arrests by 2,031. Wow, they're busy. Um, where black people had 4,888 arrests, they increased by 659. Still pretty busy to me. Um, for robbery, white people in 2014 had 31,354, so they decreased by 1,591 for that following year. Um, black people for robbery had 41,379 arrests, so they decreased by 2,894. Aggressive assault, white people had 185,612, they increased in one year by 2,520, whereas um, black people for aggressive assault had 96,511. They decreased by 2,237. So for aggressive assault, let me reiterate because I got a little confused. <laughs> so white people increased in one year their aggressive assault arrest by 2,520 and black people decreased by 2,237. Um, for burglary, white people in 2014 had 126,242 arrests, so they decreased by 10,748, and black people had 56,504 arrests, and they decreased by 5,205. 
Larceny and theft. White people in 2014 had 671,260 arrests compared to 271,788 for black people. So um, white people decreased those arrests by 5,913 in a year, and black people decreased by 12,570. That's a heck of a lot of larceny and theft. Wow. I do the six hundred seventy one thousand. Wow, that's like that's about that's almost four hundred thousand more arrests for larceny and theft. Very, very interesting. This is fascinating to me. Um, car theft. White people in twenty fourteen had thirty five thousand five hundred and fifty one arrests, which was an increase of six hundred and eighty seven. And black people had sixteen thousand uh three hundred and ninety one, which was an increase of 431 arrests. For arson, uh, burning stuff down. This crazy. Uh, but for arson, uh, white people, 5,338 arrests, a decrease of 860. And black people, 1,709, a decrease of 216. For prostitution and commercial crimes, uh, white people had 19,867 arrests, a decrease of 2,799, and um, black people, 15,483, a decrease of 1,895. For sex offenses, not rape, prostitution, white people had um, 31,279 arrests, a decrease of 2,416, and black people had 10,462, a decrease of 1,000. Um, again, whites were still triple, um, about triple the amount of arrests from those two years. Drug abuse, again, white people, 837,851 arrests compared to black, 353,000. 862. Um, that was an increase of 22,670 for white people and a decrease, a decrease of 11,923 for black. Drunkenness. Whites had um, 264,906 arrests in 2014, a decrease of 23,240. And black people had 51,485 arrests, a decrease of 5,400. Disorderly conduct, white people in 2014 had 213,342 arrests, a decrease of 18,262. And black people had 114,802 arrests, a decrease of 14,980. And finally, um, offenses against family and children. White people still had a dramatic lead at 50,912 arrests, a decrease of 105. And black people had 26,048 arrests, an increase of 529. Okay, so those are the stats. I'm going to, inshallah, I'm going to put the um, links to the 2013 and the 2014 FBI um, arrest by race statistics in the um, information bar, the information box down there. But what's my whole point for this? My point, again, is when you look at the media, newspapers, um, news stations, politicians, people just on the streets, you get this sense that black people are so violent compared to everyone else. Um, and that, you know, when people like Trayvon Martin gets um, shot and killed by somebody who's afraid of him because he looks a part of, you know, the menacing um criminal, basically, black in general, but um, when you hear these things, and you, you know, Sandra Bland, and 
just all these people, Michael Green, like all these people that um, things constantly happen to, black people constantly happening to in this country. And then you look at the statistics of incarceration. Um, so white people, white people compared to black people in the prison system, you get this whole idea that blacks are the primary culprits in this country. But when you look at the statistics, the facts, the FBI, then you're like, no way, it's not true. It's just simply not true. And by great, great margins. Now, again, it's not to say that blacks are not out there doing dirt, too. There are a lot of us out there doing dirt, too. However, when you compare, when you compare blacks to whites, we're not the biggest drug addict. When you compare, compare blacks to whites, we're not the biggest, you know, rapists. Throughout the history of this country, black men in particular have had this, um, have been stigmatized into, you know, the thought that they are rapists, the African white women, they're just, you know, they're animals and all this, you know, with drug addiction, that black people are the biggest drug addicts, and then, of course, Latinos follow. Um, but, again, okay, it's simply not true. So, my point in this, taking, you know, about almost 20 minutes out of my life to do this, is because I want to put these things out there to you all, for you to start thinking outside of what you're told to think. Look at the, st the uh, stats. Go and do your own research. Don't take it from me. Go and do your own research. And if you are sincere and if you truly want to know, as opposed to just following along with the Donald Trump and the Fox News is and, you know, then just keep sitting back talking stuff that's not true. Or you can actually empower yourself and hopefully in turn empower communication between all of us and, you know, better living between all of us. Because when it comes down to the government don't really care about none of us, right? Um, it's up to us, the people, the grassroots, to get it going. And to make things more positive, if at all possible. And to work together, if at all possible. Um, so with that, I'm going to leave you to go hit up these links and see for yourself. And if you like, you can comment then. Bye.